dear friend, as an organic farmer from Egypt, I'm very concerned about the future of our planet and the future of agriculture. With a growing population in our country and in all countries of Africa, and at the same time less water, higher prices for inputs, weather extremes, and the impact of climate change, which we still are not able to judge 100%, I'm afraid that we will not be able to produce the food for all of our people. And I'm concerned for the situation of Egypt in particular, because Egypt is one of the most vulnerable countries to climate change. And if the sea level rises for one meter, millions of acres will be lost. Millions of homes of people in Egypt will be lost. So, to prevent this, I'm calling on all decision makers from all countries in the world to act now, to seal a deal in Copenhagen and to commit to reduction targets for carbon. But as a farmer, I'm also convinced that sustainable agriculture has to be part of the solution. Sustainable agriculture has a huge potential to sequester CO2 from the atmosphere into our living soils. And Therefore, I'm calling on the decision makers to include sustainable agriculture in a treaty in Copenhagen. This would incentivize our farmers to do the right thing, to stop climate change and produce food for our populations. And have in mind that for millions of our people in Egypt and Africa, this will be most probably the only way to contribute to the stop of climate change and I hope that this will also be a new income stream for our farmers to help them to come out of poverty and have a, live a, have a good life. Now as a farmer from Egypt I'm also the CEO of a food company and as CEO of a food company I urge all my fellow friends in private sector and industry to start measuring their impact, their environmental impact, their carbon emissions, to report on these carbon emissions, to join the global compact and start sustainability reporting. So let me conclude. First, I call on all decision makers to seal the deal because we have no time to lose. Second, I call on them to include sustainable agriculture in a treaty in Copenhagen. And third, I'm calling on all my fellow businessmen in the world to start a new era of responsible competitiveness and business. And let us not forget that with this transition from high carbon to low carbon, with sustainable development strategies for our companies, nations and the planet, we will see new opportunities for investment and growth and employment. Thank you.